Right, so today we're going to be changing the rear brake pads on a Focus CC, which is Naz's. Right. Now I've already done that side and shown him how easy it is. So now that he's watched me do it, he insists that he'll be able to do it himself. So these easy. are the tools, that's easy. the car, crack yep. on. Just in case you're wondering, we haven't slowed this down. This is just the pace he works at. <laughs> <laughs> So, first thing we need to do is remove this spring clip and we jam a screwdriver under here, here. Can we play that video back so I can remember what it was? I know it wasn't live. So, yeah, that's one side out. It's two. So now we have some dust caps. So I'm going to use a screwdriver to remove. There's one bus cap. Tighty tighty, lefty loopy. There we go. See how common sense would have said that I last used that to tighten up, so therefore it would be set the wrong way. You also said they were dead easy. They are no. not easy. That's why you're only using a small amount of change. Talking to yourself when they're out. Try and wiggle the carpet so you don't come away. Not that bit, because that bit's still bolted, this bit. Clean apart. I think that's a no. Make that means it took 11 minutes to get that far. That's to get the wheel off and two bolts. Yeah, but this, this still isn't coming off, you've got a hammer. You don't need a hammer. This is seriously not coming off. I don't want to break out of your screwdriver. Ah, that's, all right. that's still not how far. The bolt. Definitely out now, but it's in CDM. There we go. Ta da! So now we need to wind that up. <clears throat> what do we look like? Hey, look, there's some pad there. That's it's better than the other one. Like it's better than that side, isn't it? Where's yeah. the pad? Exactly, yeah. Where is the pad? That pad definitely broke. You just keep turning it. Okay. You just keep turning that. Yeah, it turns clockwise. Piston winds in clockwise. That is. Turn. <laughs> you were turning it the wrong way. No, I wasn't turning it the wrong way. <laughs> well, I tell you <coughs> clockwise, and all of a sudden it starts turning. That's not a coincidence. Yeah, it stopped again. So. So once the pistons wound all the way back. Yep. Yeah, you move the tool. Here we go. Let's have that. Pistons back. There you go. Yeah. So once the piston's all the way back in, it'll be level with there, which means you can get it over your new pads. Uh, you can use the tool or you can use needle nose pliers in the two holes, uh, and as you push, twist it clockwise and the piston will go back in. At first it doesn't seem like it's moving, but it does actually do stuff. Um, so now we're going to install the new pads, caliper back on, spring back on, and uh, yeah, we'll catch up in about 20 minutes. <laughs> be like that. So, top tip, remove the packet. From the pad. Top, top, top tip. Top tip, take them out of the packaging. They won't fit otherwise. So here we go. Two shiny new pads. You know when you get a microwave meal or something and it says remove film? Yeah, remove That's them. who it's for. It's for him. Okay, the old pads. Can't really tell the difference, is that? No, you mean the old pad? It's not, pad. It's not much. The old pad, mate. Not, not much difference between them. Yeah, not much difference, yeah. If you look from the back. Okay, so the spring one goes into the back here. You know, goes in here. I'm lying. Okay. And then this one slots in here. Like that. And then we get some copper grease, which is this stuff. Yeah, I don't mean to be a critic, but would it not have been easy to do the backpack before you put it in? Yeah. Top tip. Everyone's a critic, right? <laughs> <laughs> do the backpack before you put it in. And why do you put grease on there? So they don't squeak and squeal and rattle and yeah. That's it, that's enough. Do other things they shouldn't do. Put the new so pads in. Cobble grease is on. Put the rear one in first. And then the 
front one. Just slot it like this. See how I made that look like I know what I was talking about? Mm -hmm. And then slot this over the top of all of it. Not like that. Oh, there we go. How easy was that? Right. Okay. So then all you need to do is tighten the two bolts up at the back. Which are... I'm, I'm not going to lie. Which are there. The two bolts but are there. a big pain in the arse. The two bolts are fine. Use the uh, FT rule. What's the FT rule? Fucking tight. <laughs> okay. I think that is now FT. Now we're going to put the dust caps back on. Don't forget those. Otherwise you might get dust in there. <laughs> so, and then we put our little springy make back on. This is very awkward. There we go. And I believe that that is now finished, other than the obvious Put wheel. wheel back on, yeah. Listen. Right, so I'll uh, catch back up. So taking it off, take the spring clip off first, uh, take the two caps off the back, one on the top, one at the bottom, use the T45 torque bit to remove the two bolts, slide them back a little bit in the rubbers so that the caliper will slide out, slide the caliper out, take the pads out, new pads in, put the copper grease on to stop them squealing anywhere that they touch the metal, uh, caliper back on, bolts back in, spring back on, wheel back on, done. Before we put the wheel back on we just need some, a little bit of copper grease on the wheel here. Yeah, just your wheel doesn't stick to the um, hub itself. Have you noticed as well when you explain it, it sounds really short, therefore really quick, but it took a little bit longer. And as I said earlier, yeah, to be you, fair though, how many times? Yeah, it's a, how many it's times have you ever changed brake pads before? Me? Yeah. Never. And how long did it take you in reality? Probably like what? Twenty minutes. There you go. So if you're an absolute novice, you can change your own brake pads in 20 minutes aside. All you need are the pads, which would cost you how much depending on your car and where you're getting from. Which these pads cost 15 quid. Yeah. So it's cost you 15 quid to do the rear brakes on your car instead of however much at a garage, like at least a hundred of it. Yeah. And you also need this video as a guide. Yeah. So hopefully, I would imagine changing the pads on any focus of this year would be the same as the CC, I would imagine. So if you have a focus and you've never done your pads before, give it a go. Uh, all you need is a wheel brace, um, a ratchet with a T45 torque bit on, a flathead screwdriver, the pads, um, some needle nose pliers if you haven't got the brake winding tool, um, and just some cock grease, that's it. Depending on what pad you buy, I think if you buy more expensive ones, they do come with copper grease in the packaging. These ones didn't because they were cheapos, but I already had copper grease, so it's fine. Cheapest chips. And oh, and a jack, obviously, but yeah. every car. I wouldn't recommend doing it on like a normal jack that you get in the back of your car. Uh, I'd recommend a trolley jack. Um, and then while you've got it in the air, either put an axle stand under it, or if you haven't got an axle stand, slide your wheel underneath the car. So at least if it falls, it'll land on the wheel and not your face. Obviously when you first start driving it for a bit, be a little bit tender with the pads while they just, you know, bed in. Uh, and other than that, you're good to go. Especially on the man with side. Yeah, so... Are you sure you just take it? If you can't use a trolley jack, um, probably don't attempt this job. Um, <laughs> there we go. Make <laughs> made that job look easier. Yeah. <laughs> he did rip me for it too. <laughs> Might have to pull it out, mate, to be honest. Yeah, I'm just going to tighten these up, in case I forget. So if you guys would rather see a complete noob do the jobs in future, rather than me, so that you know that anybody can do these jobs, let me know and I'll recruit uh, El Nubo over there to feature in the videos. <laughs> I also forgot to put my hammer in and see it move. Yeah. I'm going to do that now, just yeah. in case it rolls away. If you, are, if you do live on a hill, don't forget to use your handbrake folks. Yeah. Top tip there. Put the handbrake on. <laughs> Before you... Um... <laughs> Before you put the car back on the, the floor. Jack. <laughs> next, next we'll be doing a slab. Yeah. Yeah. Same as doing a vacuum. Tune in for a, a granddad car special. <laughs> <laughs> instead, instead of, what, instead of the, um, 